Hello guys, welcome to SOAP UI tutorial from rcvacademy.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about how you can create a SOAP, a SOAP project in SOAP UI. So to get started, just launch SOAP UI. And um, as we have seen in previous tutorial that uh, it's pretty simple and straightforward to install SOAP UI on your machine. So you simply have to visit SmartBear website and search for the uh, open source version of SOAP UI. And depending on the platform that you have, simply download the installable and follow the instructions to install SOAP UI on your machine. After you have installed SOAP UI, simply launch it. And once you launch SOAP UI, you'll have multiple options to create the project. The first option is the empty project. You can create an empty project or you can create a SOAP project or you can create a REST project. All right. So in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about what a SOAP is and how you can create a SOAP project and then send the first request and get a successful response for the SOAP request. Now, SOAP stands for um, simple object access protocol okay and this simply says or it's a protocol which says how you can access the web services and SOAP is a standards based web services access protocol and it has been there for a while and it enjoys um, all the benefits of long-term use so it has been there for for quite a while and it has been very widely used but the only drawback with soap is that it's a bit complex it was developed by microsoft and it's a bit complex if you compare it with the um, rest which is the most recent version of the um, uh, web service access uh, protocol all right so and SOAP completely relies on um, exclusive, exclusively on the XML to provide the messaging services. So you have XML payloads for sending the request and response also uh, is received in the XML. So it completely uses XML to um, send requests and get the responses. So that's brief about the SOAP. Now to create the first project in SOAP, what I'll do is I'll uh, get some open source uh, WSDL uh, and a simple WSDL which you can easily follow and use to send your first request. So I'll go to Google and simply just give me a sec. Yeah, I'll go to Google and say calculator, sorry, calculator WSDL. Okay. And just click on this first link here okay and go to the service description and copy this visual location right come back and click on the soap project here okay so that's the first option how you can create the soap project or simply go to the file and say new soap project or new rest project or create an empty project right so you can it it will open the same window if you click this new soap project here so click on just paste this will vista location it will take the project name uh, create request just check this and if you want to create a test suite check this checkbox as well uh, if you don't want to create test suite then just uncheck it so as of now I'll uncheck it I'll check it later when we are going to uh, dig deeper into the test suites and test cases in further tutorials and just click OK now you can see your SOAP project has been created with different methods available. You have methods add, divide, multiply, and subtract, and different. So calculator SOAP is uh, SOAP version 1.1, and this is version 1.2, which is the later version. So both uh, it, this service is supporting the both both the versions of SOAP. So it has created two different versions here. Now, uh, what exactly is WSDL? So WSDL stands for uh, Web Service Description Language, and it's an XML document that defines operations, parameters, requests, and responses used in the web service interactions. You can think of uh, WSDL as the contract that defines the language and grammar used by the web service clients and servers. So it's, it's pretty, 
um, it's kind of an uh, XML document if you go to this link again here it's it's a simple XML document which is uh, which is known as WSDL and it defines the whole thing about how it defines the language exactly how the client and server will communicate and what are the uh, methods available how you need to pass the request what parameters you need to pass in pass in the request to get the successful response so that's that's what a WSDL or web service description language stands for right so since we have created a new project here now we'll see what are the methods so we, we have add divide multiply and subtract and then we have a request for each of these methods available so let's open this add request and do a bit of analysis here for the add request right so you can see that it has uh, it has a bit defined XML structure here uh, which this is known as the payload okay and then this these question marks here show what you need to pass on in this request right and then whether they are optional or they are mandatory your WSDL uh, describes all of those um, configurations right so in this request to simply uh, go through and su submit this request and get the response what we'll do is because this is simple addition request it's pretty straightforward you can simply put uh, some integers here okay and then send the request and it will send you the addition of these two numbers because this is a calculator API so it should be pretty straightforward to understand so we are passing two integers and we should be expecting the sum of these two integers which which is four so let's try and run this service now okay so now you can see that the result um, has been obtained and which is also an XML format and the result is four. we have sent two numbers two integers and we have got a response as a sum of those two integers so what we have learned in this tutorial we have learned a brief about soap we have learned what WSDL stands for we have created the first soap project in soap UI and also successfully sent the request sent first soap request and got a successful response for that soap request so stay tuned subscribe to the channel for further tutorials on soap UI thank you